Benny here, GhostPixATS.com, the number one sports consultant in the business. Wednesday, May 8th, moving right along in the month of May. May 8th already. Holy cow. Time is just flying by. Is time really just flying by or am I crazy? All right. I know I'm a little crazy, but I think time is just flying by. Let's get wild. Wild Wednesday in full effect. Too legit. Too legit to quit. If you're new to my page, welcome. Hop on down to that subscribe. Give your boy Benny a subscribe. Tap the bell right next so you get my videos as soon as they pop up and head on over to Facebook. Head on over to Instagram. Start following along over there. We have free content from all five handicappers every single day. You can't see me. And then follow me along over on Twitter as well at Benny Bistro. Clearly, the talk of the day is going to be on the 76ers, a.k.a. the 70 Suxers. Do the 70 Suxers realize that they are in the playoffs? Do the 70 Suxers realize how embarrassing their effort has been? Do the 70 Suxers realize they have a top-notch big four that can't hit a lick? Somebody call the 76ers. And tell him Ghost Picks Benny ain't too happy. I'm not. Here are a few words that come to mind when I think of the 76ers. Atrocious. Trash. Despicable. Disgusting. Terrible. Pathetic. Sorry. Awful. Yuck. Poop. Suck. Loathsome. Unworthy. Shameful. Embarrassing. Nauseating, dirty, filthy, rotten, low down, no good, lousy sons of guns. Mm. They stink. Stick a fork in them. They sh mm. they sure made to stick made sure to stick a fork in a Ben dog two games in a row as the NBA slump continues to hang over me like a black cloud. NBA shouts to SoCal resellers. NBA stands for no bank account. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars in my bank account. In my bank account. Remix. 21 Savage. Remix. Uh -huh. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars in my bank account. In my bank account. As you can see, I was on the 76ers. And as you can see, I was wrong. Five unit top tier loss on the 76ers. Get them away from me. 89 points. 89 points in the playoffs. Laughable. There's another word. I can keep going with words to describe the 76ers. Breathe, Benny. Split our top tier for two for Tuesday. As usual, I had two top tier plays. And for how bad the 76ers play was, the Dodgers play sure was beautiful. Okay? Uh, uh, five unit top tier win on the Dodgers. On the money line, they lead a beating on the Braves. Nine to zero. That was a rocking chair game. Okay? Right on the money with the Dodgers pick. Money in the bank, shorty what you drank. It's a rotten shame that the Sixers, 76ers had to be so bad. Trailblazers let me down as well. Three unit loss on the Trailblazers. They couldn't break 100 either. But they were able to put up more points than the 76ers. Once again, NBA bringing me down. Taking away from how well I'm doing in Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball is in full swing, full effect, and I'm right here with it, all right? Grinding out winning days every single day in Major League Baseball Tuesday was no different. Nice winning day in MLB, two in one day. Won a three-unit uh, three play on the Cubs on the run line. Shouts to Chase, he had a late fire play on the Cubs on the money line, okay? I like the Cubs to get it done on the run line, and they did it. They got it done in uh, exciting fashion, let's say. Bottom nine. Walk off three run Jack by the homie Chris Bryant. All right. And the crowd goes wild. God, I love it. I love coming out on the winning side of those types of games. I feel like Animal and Hawk. Ugh, what a rush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not for real, but man, that, the, guy, the game got me hyped up. A big win, three unit win, but a big win. Okay. So we hit our top tier on the Dodgers, five units. Hit three units on the Cubs on a run line. We lost four on the Mets. Padres under seven. Cindergard let me down. Gave up four runs. Struck out five over six innings. Good for a not so good ERA. A not so good six ERA. Uh, Cal Quantrill did as expected. Uh, four and third inning. Gave up two runs. And uh, in his second big league start, he struck out five. But yeah, we lost that one, giving us a, 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 a plus four day. In Major League Baseball, unfortunately, that play was my free play, meaning this free streak has ended at five in a row. Win, uh, 
win five, take a loss, win six, take a loss. Free plays are on point. Free plays, check. MLB is on point. MLB, check. NBA, nope. Not on point, no check mark there. The NBA put us at a losing day overall on Tuesday. Two for Tuesday, we split our top tier. Not exactly the results we were looking for. More like damage control after watching the cringe-worthy 76ers. There's another word for the 76ers, but hey, guess what? Today is a new day, a beautiful day, a great day to be alive. Hump day! It's a nice day to get wild. Wild Wednesday, $9.99. All plays, any handicapper you choose. Holler at your boy, the people's champ, your, fa or your handicapper's favorite capper. Bad boy, Benny. I'm going to put that pack out one more day today. I'm not a bad guy anymore. I am not a bad guy anymore, but I'm going to run the package one more day. Six days of plays, 150 bucks. UFC will be included. It's UFC 237. We're going to get uh, pumped up for that one. We're going to get up on it. Let's roll. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. That deal will definitely be off the table by the end of the day. And we'll be moving on to Bendo with the Extendo on Thursday. Shouts to everybody rocking with the Ben Dog. Looking at some nice MLB plays for today. Do not forget. May I have your attention, please? Attention. Attention. May I have your attention, please, if you're jumping on my Wild Wednesday or if you're jumping on the six day plus UFC bad boy for life package for 150 bucks. Take full advantage of what I'm putting out. Take advantage of all the plays I put out. We have early Major League Baseball today. As a matter of fact, free play of the day will be an early Major League Baseball. Let's get to it right now. The streak is starting now. Let's get it right back rolling. Lunch money, Deuce. Lunch money. Hey, Deuce. Let's get that lunch money, baby. Shouts to Deuce, 1, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Washington Nationals at the Milwaukee Brewers. Hellickson pitching for the Nats. Woodruff pitching for the Brew Crew. I just got talking done talking about this guy, uh, Woodruff, okay? He got me a nice free play win against the Mets at home. He's a better pitcher at home. Brew Crew, they have a nice bullpen. Free play of the day is going to be the Brewers again today, only we are taking them on the run line. Uh, 1 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Free play of the day. Milwaukee Brewers on the run line. We are taking Milwaukee to win by two today. Let's talk about this Woodruff guy some more. He's been pitching quite well. He's given up two earned runs in 10 innings over his last two games. He's 4-1 and one on the year. 4.71 ERA. Brewers are 9-3 and three in Woodruff's, Woodruff's last 12 starts. They are now 6-1 and one in his last seven home starts. Brewers have covered the run line in the first two games of this three-game series versus the Nationals. 5-3 to three on Monday, 6-0 to zero on yesterday. Brewers scored all of their runs in the seventh inning. They were able to get to Strasburg, who pitched a great game up until that point. He struck out 11, but Brew Crew hit him up in the seventh, and we all know the Nationals' bullpen is not so good. Brew Crew will have their ups and downs throughout the season, but let's face it, they're a solid team through and through, a complete team. Starting pitching, run support, relief pitching. All the way through Nationals, Hellickson trying to help the Nationals avoid the sweep. 2-0, 5.33 ERA. Nationals are 2-6 in his last eight road starts. Hellickson has been up and down. He's had some good starts, followed by a few rough starts where he got touched up. Followed by his last game out where he gave up two earned on four hits in five and a third innings. Not too shabby. Nationals are 1-4 in their last 5 in Milwaukee. 3-9 in their last 12 games versus a team with a winning record. Now, this is a sweep game. I'm well aware that sweep games can be dangerous. However, I think Woodruff is on point. He's even better at home. Hellickson is up and down. Nationals have lost 8 of their last 11 games. Milwaukee is capable of putting up runs. Bullpen is capable of uh, limiting runs. We are going to take the Milwaukee Brewers to win this game, and we're going to take them to win by two. Free play of the day. Brewers on the run line. Hey, if you're not on the other ghost picks, guys, you're missing out. Derek Dimes had another winning day. I cannot stress enough. Derek Dimes is heating up. He's beyond heating up. He's on fire right now. Okay? Chase hit that late fire play. Props to Chase. Jimmy is doing his thing. Jack is getting the job done as well. Of course, I want you guys with me. I am your handicapper. You guys know I take care of my people. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life. Good luck. God bless. Grind on, baby. Cheers.